Hello, welcome, welcome to my channel, whoopee whoopee boo. Okay, so my name's Sheldon, and this is the I am inside, the I am referring to what uh, God revealed himself as to Moses, yeah. intentional um, which we'll get to and you'll see why why I'm saying this so before I <laughs> discuss why I do not want to be a Christian anymore let's let's clear what a Christian is so what is a Christian um, I think the answer would change based on who you ask for example if I ask a if I asked a atheist what a a Christian is they'd probably say something like no they're homophobic hypocritical, judgmental, high horsed moralists, or something, something like that. Um, and if you ask the same question to a believer in Christ, usually wanting to defend, not defend, but justify what that means. I am a Christian, but I'm not like those ones that shake and laugh as soon as they hear one guitar chord during worship. Or, I am a Christian, but I'm not one of those suit-wearing, judgmental Christians who don't believe in the Holy Spirit. So the word Christian and Christianity actually doesn't appear in the Bible very much. It's only about three times. It's something non-Christ followers would actually call Christ followers. It's not something they labeled themselves. And the term was actually quite derogatory. It was a kind of like one of those labels, offensive labels. <laughs> and we're all about labels nowadays. Oh, my word. So um, people who followed Christ would actually call themselves disciples, which is another thing we'll get to. So the first time uh, Jesus' followers were actually called this was in the book of Acts. And, um, but before we get to this, uh, let's just back up a bit. So just after Jesus um, was raised from the dead, went up to heaven, he gave the Great Commission saying that we must go out, go out and make disciples of all men and so on, etc. So the church, which was the disciples and the people around, um, dispersed and left. Um, and some of these people made their way up to Antioch. The people were first called Christians at Antioch. So Acts 11 verse 26 says, And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So far a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. So in this church, that was when they were labeled uh, Christians for the first time, because it was the first big gathering of Christians. Multiple uh, people, different races, everything, etc. It was the first church that missionaries were sent out of, which was really cool. Um, so, what is a disciple? Um, and why would you want to be one? Um, disciple is the new Christian, man. It's just what it is. No, no. So, we obviously want to go around calling each other disciples. It's like, as a fellow disciple, uh, okay, it'll be a bit weird, so we don't want to do that. I think it'll be weird. <laughs> anyway, um, so disciple, the word disciple in the dictionary is defined as a protege, a learner, and an apprentice. So what is an apprentice? What is a learner? What do they do usually? Is they take what their teacher or um, in this case their rabbi has taught them and applies it. So this is what uh, Jesus expects from his disciples. Jesus uh, defines disciple in in John 13 verse 30. He says, A new command I give to you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. Okay, so that's super loaded. Um, love one another. Oh my. So if you're wanting some context on love and what love actually is, I've done a video. I'll put a link over here. And, um, yeah, just describing how to love and what love is and etc, etc. I do believe that if, if we do take this approach um, and loving one another, loving thy neighbor, yeah, and in, Mark, in Mark 12 it speaks about loving thy neighbor. You could just imagine the kind of impact we could have on society if we actually did this, if we applied this to our lives. Um, I do believe that the civil war in this country wouldn't have happened. Um, World War I wouldn't have happened. I don't think any of 
or most of the wars wouldn't have happened because of this if we had applied this to our lives. Um, loving one another as Christ loved the church. So just like imagine loving like Jesus did. Jesus was super patient. Can you imagine a scenario of Jesus hanging out with his spiritually immature disciples all day? You can imagine how annoyed you'd get comparing this to hanging out with kids. Um, imagine trying to hang out with kids and have a civilized conversation with them. It's not going to happen because they're not on the same level. Now, I would say it's exactly the same, the kind of patience Jesus would have had to have when, um, and grace he would have to have living and being around his disciples all day. I don't think I'd be able to do it. If we actually applied what Jesus did to our lives rather than just quoting the Bible all day or doing studies, and I'm not saying quoting the Bible's wrong or doing Bible studies or whatever. I'm not saying that's wrong, but I, I do say that it's way more productive if we actually act out what Christ what Christ says and actually love people and not preach what he loves. Um, like the video I posted on, on my Facebook Live where James speaks about being doers of the word and not only hearers of the word. Could you imagine an, an, an extreme scenario would be something like, let's say my mother tells me to do my homework. She says, Sheldon, go do your homework. It's beneficial for your future. It will it'll help you in your career and so on. And imagine I go away for two hours, um, do nothing, come back and say, Mommy, you said to me, you need to do your homework. It's going to help you in your future. It's going to help you in your career. And start quoting what my mother said rather than actually doing it. Um, it's not going to be helpful. It's, it's just obviously you can see the logic there. It's not helpful at all. Um, could totally uh, bring a whole lot of people over and say, this is what my mother said. What would this actually mean? And how, how would this affect my life? If I, and we could have a study on it and discuss how what the impacts of me studying would be. Um, I'm only doing my homework, but rather than actually doing it, it's not going to, yeah. Me going back to going to people, hey, hey guys, I can say what my mother said in Greek. I can say it in the original Hebrew that she didn't say it in. <laughs> so it's like, just that, that mentality needs to change. Um, so, so to round it off, a Christian, we could, anybody can be a Christian. Uh, a lot of people believe that they were born Christian. It's kind of the 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 faith, um, or it's kind of the religion that everybody says they are. It's the um, the other box. So if we have all these religions, Christian would be the other box that you kind of just default to. Um, being a Christian or being a disciple, are you wanting to be exact? Are you wanting to live the life Christ lived, um, and are you wanting to be like Him? Or are you just wanting to have a label Christian? So that's why I'd say I don't want to be a Christian anymore. I actually want to be a disciple. I want to live more like Christ did. Which is very difficult. Taking up a cross and following Christ, it's a hard thing to do. It's difficult. It's giving up everything in your life to follow Him. Um, giving up your family. The Bible speaks about giving up your family. Giving up your life, literally, and following uh, Christ. So, as a challenge... I would say choose what you want to be, whether you want to be a label just a Christian. And I want to say it, it's just a Christian. You could either be just a Christian or a disciple. Um, and want to follow an apprentice of Christ, a, a learner, a yeah. Um, I hope this means something to someone. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. There's a subscribe thingy over there. Um and share this if you want to. Yeah, if you want to share it, share it. I'll be super grateful. Um. Yeah. Anyway, peace out, Lekwan.